Okay, so today we're looking at 1.5, exploring angle pairs. The first word we want to talk about is adjacent angles. These are two angles in the same plane that share a common vertex and a common side. But they have no interior points in common. So if we're looking at this angle over here, I have big angle, angle BAD, and then I have ray AC in there. And so I could say that angle BAC and angle CAD share side AC, this ray in the middle, they both share that. And they share vertex A, but have no common interior points. So they share this vertex and this side, but all of these points, okay, none of those points are also down here. So that's what we mean by share no interior points. So think about adjacent. Adjacent means sits next to, is close to. So in order to be adjacent, they have to share that side, one side only, and a vertex. So we're going to practice that. Name a second angle to form a pair of adjacent angles. So we they give me this picture. We have angle ABC. So angle ABC and what? So ABC. I just need it to also have vertex B and share one of those sides. So there's more than one right answer here, but one of the adjacent angles to ABC would be angle CBD. So I could say angle CBD. It shares vertex B and it shares side CB. If we look at angle GBD, so GBD, again, I just need to have vertex B and share a side. So I could say angle ABG, ABG. It shares vertex B and they both have a side BG in common. Angle EDF, EDF over here, they need to have D in common. So I could say EDB, so angle E, D, B. They share vertex D and side E, D together. Angle A, B, G. A, B, G. Again, they need to have B in common. And so I could then say angle A, B, C. They share side A, B and vertex B. And finally, angle F, D, A. So F, D, A. They need to have vertex D in common and share a side. So the only option I have there would be angle EDF. So those are adjacent angles. So now let's talk about linear pair. A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles that lie on a straight line. Okay? So linear means line, pair means two. A pair of adjacent angles, so they have to have the same vertex, share a side, not have any points in common, and then also lie on a straight line, make up a linear pair. Okay, remember straight line, their measure are going to equal 180 degrees. So in this picture here, I have angle PSQ, angle QSR, okay, they are a linear pair because they are adjacent angles and they make up a straight line. So here I could say that angle, the measure of angle PSQ plus the measure of angle QSR equals 180 degrees. So now we're going to practice that. So name an angle that forms a linear pair with a given angle. So in this picture, they give me angle ACB. So ACB. So ACB. I need it to make a straight line, okay, um, and share in vertex C and then a side. I have two possible answers. I could go out this direction, and then that would get me angle ACD. Or I could have gone out this direction. So let me, I could have gone this direction. Nope, I lied about that. Sorry. 
Not on that one. I was getting ahead of myself. So ACB, okay. Yes, ACB. Make a straight line. I could have also gone this way. Yes, I'm sorry. So angle BCE would also make a linear pair there. Okay. So now let's switch colors. Angle DCA. So now I'm looking at green, DCA. I need to make a straight line. Okay. So again, I could go this way, make a straight line, and that would be angle ACB. Switch colors, angle FCD. So FCD, if I'm looking at this, I need to make a straight line there. So... So my option would be to go out this way, go out this way, so that would be angle BCF. Okay. So those are linear pairs. Now we want to talk about vertical angles. Vertical angles are non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. And it asks us to use your protractor to measure these angles. Okay, so let's pull a protractor out. Find that protractor. So if I measure this angle first, I find, let's see, I have that on zero. I'm reading the inside. So this angle is approximately 45 degrees here. So then I'm going to measure this angle up here. I'm going to put my protractor there. Bring that down a little bit. This big angle, DEA, looks to be <clears throat> about 1. 35. <clears throat> so now I'm going to measure this little angle over here. That looks to be 45. And so it says, what do you notice? I notice that these two are the same. These two are also the same. So I notice that angle AEC is congruent to angle DEB. Therefore, vertical angles are congruent. Okay? So picture this angle and this angle are vertical angles. But then I also have top and bottom are vertical angles. Okay? So they're not going to share a side. They're going to share a common vertex, but not a side. They're going to be directly across from each other, and they're going to be congruent to one another. So let's practice finding vertical angles in this picture. Name a second angle in each pair of vertical angles. So angle EOD, so EOD, directly across, COF, so angle COF. Okay. Erase that so we can start over there. Get a different color. Angle BOC, so BOC. If I looked across, X my X, so that would be angle AOD. Okay. And let's erase that so we can start over. Angle EOB, EOB across from that would be angle AOF. Okay. All right, next page. Okay. Complementary angles. So complementary angles are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measure have a sum of 180 degrees. Okay. So it says label the following examples of complementary or supplementary and then solve for the variable. 
So example one, notice that we have that little box in there. So these are complementary. That means they equal 90. And then solve for the variable. Angle addition postulate tells me if I add the two together, I get the great big one. So 4x plus 5 plus 3x plus 8 is equal to 90. Combine like terms. Everything's on the same side of the equal sign. So 4x and 3x gets me a 7x. 8 plus 5 gets me plus 13 equals 90. Subtract 13 from both sides. We get 7x equals 77 and divide x equals 11. No degree sign because I just found a variable, not an angle. Example number two, together these make a straight line, a linear pair, so I know that they are supplementary because a straight line is always 180 degrees. So I would set this up and say 12x minus 15 plus 3x plus 45 equals 180. Combine my like terms. So 12x and 3x give me 15x. Negative 15 and a positive 45 give me plus 30 equals 180. Subtract 30, so I get 15x equals 150 and divide x equals 10. Again, no degree sign. Example number three, again, I have a straight line, so I know that they are supplementary. So 2x minus 6 plus 3x plus 31 equals 180. Combine like terms, 5x plus 25 equals 180. So we have 5x equals 155. And finally divide, x equals 31. The last one of these, where I have to label them, it's, again, I have a right angle up here, that little box. Okay? So I know that this is also going to be a right angle because together they would make a straight line, which is 180. 180 minus 90 leaves me with 90 down here. So I've got complementary with the 2x and the 3x. So 2x plus 3x equals 90, 5x equals 90, x equals 18, okay? All right, example number five, it says find the measure of each angle, okay? Everything that they have marked, okay? So I see that this is a right angle right here, so angle C, D, J is marked as 90. These two have one angle mark, so these two are congruent, so right off the bat, that tells me, so I know that this is 90, that tells me that these two together have to equal 90, but that they are equal to each other, so 90 cut in half, each of these are 45, 45, okay? So angle CDM, so CDM is 90 plus 45, okay? so to get that, it's 90 plus 45, so that is 135 degrees. Angle KDM, KDM, again, I've got the 90 here and a 45 there. That is also 135 degrees. Angle JDK, JDK, that's a straight line. It's a straight angle, 180 degrees. Angle JDM, JDM, right off the bat, we label that as 45. So this one is 45 degrees. Angle CDB, CDB, that is another straight line, 180 degrees. And finally, angle CDK, CDK, 90 degrees. Okay. All right, so then this last set of examples, we have four different pictures down here, and it asked me for a pair of complementary angles. So I need two angles that when I add them together, I will get 90 degrees. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, each of those individually are 90. Five is just a straight line. Number four is already 90. This very first picture, angle one is 90. Two and three together have to equal 90. So angle two and angle three are complementary together. B, a pair of supplementary angles. So two angles that when I add them together, I would get 180. Lots of different possible answers here because if I look at this last picture, 
6 and 7 make up a straight line. So I could say angle 6 and angle 7. That's one pair. I could say angle 7 and angle 9. That's one pair. I could say angle 9 and angle 8. That's a pair. I could say angle 8 and angle 6. That's a pair. I could use two different pictures. I could say angle 1 and angle 4. That's a pair of supplementary angles. And finally, a pair of vertical angles. I have to have two intersecting lines in order to have vertical angles. So the last picture is the only one that I'm going to get vertical angles out of. And so the first two, I could be angle 6 and angle 9. Or I could have angle 7 and angle 8 as vertical angles. All right, so that is the first day of section 1.5, exploring angle pairs.